I, uh, I posted on Facebook there today that I was going to be playing in Waxahachie tonight, and somebody put as a comment, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't know what they're missing. <laughs> I laughed, I have to say, I laughed. And this is the second time I've played in Waxahachie, but that's the first time anybody's made that joke, so <laughs> at least to me, anyway. I, you guys have probably heard it before, I don't know, but... Uh, it made me laugh. It made me laugh. And it's really nice to be back here. It's such a treat to see so many familiar faces and some new faces as well. So thank you so much for coming along. What wondrous love is this? Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. What wondrous love is this? Oh, my soul. What wondrous love is this that caused the Lord of bliss to send such perfect peace to my soul, to my soul, to send such perfect peace to my soul. To God and to the Lamb I will sing, I will sing To God and to the Lamb I will sing To God and to the Lamb Who is the great I Am And Christ the Son of Man, I will sing, I will sing, and Christ the Son of Man, I will sing. When we're from sorrow free, we'll sing on, we'll sing on. When we're from sorrow free, we'll sing on. When we're from sorrow free, we'll rise and joyous be. And through eternity, we'll sing on, we'll sing on. And through eternity we'll sing ah. Thank you very much. I knock out the lights. That was a song from the Sacred Harp, a shape note hymn singing tradition. I'm going to sing an Irish song now. And for those of you who are trying to place my accent, those of you who don't already know me, I was born in Spain, which is where my father was from. I grew up in America, in Chicago, which is where my mother was from. Um, my uh, mother and stepfather then moved to England, which is where my stepfather is from. I, meanwhile, moved to Ireland, which is where my husband is from and where my children were born. And then after living in Ireland for 13 years, um, all four of us, myself and my husband and our two children, we moved to Cornwall in the far southwest of England, where we've been living ever since. So there you have it. You probably figured that out for yourselves anyway, hadn't you? Just by <laughs> it's obvious, really, you know. But uh, this is an Irish song, and like a lot of Irish songs, it's about a young girl and she gets sent to market by her mother. And she doesn't get there because she meets a young man along the way and he distracts her. But the way that he distracts her in this particular song is he tells her he's going to teach her a tune. And this is the good bit. She says to him, if the tune that you're proposing to teach me is the one I think it is, maybe instead of sitting down here by the side of the road where everyone can see us, maybe we should go into the hay meadow over yonder where we might be more comfortable. I said that's my kind of folk song. <laughs> I had to learn it. Somehow, I don't know why, but in connection with this song, I just, I'm always going to hear you, Helen, doing your little, ooh. <laughs> Didn't she do that, ooh? <laughs> well, I love that, ooh. 
<laughs> I got to find some way to work that into the chorus. I don't think I can, but you know. Just enough to be naughty. <laughs> Just enough to be naughty. There you go. Made going to Comer, her markets to learn, to earn for her mammy three hanks of fine yarn. She met with the young man along the highway, which caused this young damsel dalliance to ray. Sit down beside me, I mean you no harm. Sit down beside me, this new tune to learn. Here are three guineas, your mammy to pay. So lay by your yarn till the next market day. They sat down together, the grass it was green. The day was the fairest that ever was seen. The look in your eye, dear, beats a morning in May I could sit here beside you till the next market day Sit down beside me, I mean you no harm Sit down beside me, this new tune to learn Here are three guineas, your mammy to pay So lay by your yarn Till the next market day Kind sir, this new tune That you'd learn me to play Might draw some attention Upon this highway In Hunter Meadow There's plenty of hay Which may not be there On the next market day Sit down beside me, I mean you no harm Sit down beside me, this new tune to learn Here are three guineas, yeah, mammy to pay So lay by your yarn till the next market day They rolled in the mow till his bow was well strung he played a fine tune on her rub a dum dum The tune that he learned her was easy to play She resolved to play on till the next market day She went home and the words that he said The air that he played her still rang in her head She says I'll go find him by land or by sea For it's such a long time till the next market day Sit down beside me, I mean you no harm Sit down beside me, this new tune to learn Here are three guineas, your mammy to pay So lay by your yarn till the next market day Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I got my special S towel. I was playing a concert last night in Austin, and the hosts had this special towel made it for me <laughs> to use on stage. I thought that was so nice. It's, see, it's got the initial S on it, you know. This is a song um, that I wrote for my new album, The Plum Tree and the Rose, which just came out in March on the Waterbug label, which is a label based in Chicago, so that's really nice for me because, um, I mean, I haven't lived in Chicago since I was 13 years old, but it's still, it's still kind of what I think of as my hometown, so it's really nice to be associated with it again after all these years. And uh, this song I, I wrote basically to try and comfort myself through times of financial hardship, which I seem to have a lot of being a folk singer for a living, you know. <laughs> 
The song is called The Sun Goes On Rising. I hear the wolf at the door I've seen his face before He's hungry and I'm tired Can't keep him out much more And through a chink in the blind I watch him pace a line I better step back from the window He's only biding his time Spring follows winter Sun follows shower Things will get better If only I can hold that wolf at bay Drive him away The sun goes on rising Every day I'm keeping the face I'm still in the race I'm marking down the time Till I can get to a better place Spring follows winter Sun follows shower Things will get better If only I can hold that wolf at bay Drive him away The sun goes on rising every day Morning comes and amber turns to gray The sun goes on rising every day And the time will come when I don't feel this way Morning comes and amber turns to gray. The sun goes on rising every day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I was traveling through um, Derbyshire in England on a, on, a, on a UK tour I was doing, and I saw this castle in the distance. All around the roof line of this castle, all around the ramparts, in great big giant stone letters that were kind of outlined in this lovely yellow stone against the blue sky, were the initials ES, 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 all around the roof line of the castle. And I thought, what's that all about? So I looked it up on the internet. God bless the internet. It's great. I can find out anything. And I found out that this castle was built back in the late 1500s by a woman called Bess of Hardwick, otherwise known as Elizabeth Shrewsbury, hence the initials ES. And she was so concerned concerned to make sure that everybody knew that she was the one who had built this castle, that she put her initials on top. And what do you know, it worked. Because uh, 
because I was so fascinated by this that um, I immediately also on my phone, it's great, I love technology, I, I went on to Amazon and I ordered a biography of her and it was waiting for me at home when I got home from that tour. And I read the biography and I wrote a song about her. So there you go. Now you know what you have to do. <laughs> Build a castle, put your initials on top, nothing could be simpler. There you go. Don't say I haven't told you anything useful. And here's the song that I wrote about her. It's called Hardwick's Lofty Towers. And it's another one from the new album as well. The boy to whom I first was wed Was dead within the year I cried many an angry tear Widow's weeds, I pleaded for my dower I wasn't thinking then of Hardwick's lofty towers Of Hardwick's lofty towers Another match was found for me And he was wise and kind Strong in body and in Loved me well, with children I did flower I was on my way to Hardwick's lofty towers To Hardwick's lofty towers A widow I became once more Before I'd reached my prime Yet again cruel fate was kind as sweet William's wife, my life's happiest hours were spent far away from Hardwick's lofty towers. From Hardwick's lofty towers. A dreadful thing then came to pass. Alas, he was struck down, and though another match I found. Joy I gained did wane and turn sour. I consoled myself with Hardwick's lofty towers. With Hardwick's lofty towers. Bess of Hardwick is my name My fame is ensured By my works and by my words I built my castle tall For all to admire I have left my soul In Hardwick's lofty towers In Hardwick's lofty towers I have carved my name in golden letters in the sky So that those who follow after me will know that I was born and died Thank you Thank you so much. Now, see, this is what I like about playing intimate venues like this one. You get compliments from the audience. Thank you. Well, when I was, when I was reading up about Bess of Hardwick, I found out that her tomb was in Derby Cathedral, and so I had to go and have a look at that as well. And while I was walking through this beautiful, great big cathedral, I, at first I thought I was just writing a little canon or round to kind of go after the Bess of Hardwick song, and... But gradually, as songs will do, I'm sure you know yourself, Helen, being a songwriter, and you too, Randy, and all the other songwriters who are here. Sometimes songs want to be something something more than you originally intend, and uh, and you just have to let them do what they want to do. And, uh, and that's what I did with this song. It's another one from the new album. It's called In Darby Cathedral. In Darby Cathedral, 
I read through the names on the wall And I think of them all I think of them all Say a prayer for the souls of the faithful departed Who've walked through these halls Say a prayer for them all Say a prayer for them all So many who labored to praise their creator with towers of glass, wood and stone Where I wander alone So flesh and bone In Darby Cathedral It's peaceful but not in my mind No peace can I find No peace can I find So many people in Darby Cathedral, so flesh and bone, glass, wood, and stone. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. In Darby Cathedral, I read through the names on the wall And I think of them all, I think of them all So many people in Darby Cathedral So flesh and bone Glass, wood, and stone So flesh and blood Glass, wood, and stone So flesh and blood Glass, wood, and stone So flesh and bone Glass, wood, and stone In Darby Cathedral I found my last home my soul free to roam, my name carved in stone. Listen to the bells ringing out for me. In Darby Cathedral, I in found Darby my cathedral, last home. My soul free to roam, my soul free to stone. My soul free to stone, my name the bells. My soul because thought my soul cried and stole my soul cried and my name out out the till I found my my soul cried and stole my soul cried and stole my soul the out my name the Listen to the bells ringing out for me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great big thanks to Martin Stansbury there behind the sound desk. I couldn't do that without him. And uh, 
That's all done live every night. He samples my voice as I'm singing and plays it back in time to what I'm singing. And it's the playing it back in time to what I'm singing that's the tricky bit. He has to tap out the rhythm on the trackpad of his laptop while I'm singing. So there you go. He's. Uh, I could not do that without him. Give him a big hand. It's cool, isn't it? But it would be dull if I were to sing with myself all evening, so would you do me the honor of singing one with me? I know we have some beautiful singers here tonight. I've heard a few of them already, so I expect great things from you. And you're sitting right in front of me, Helen. <laughs> you're on the spot. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. And if you felt like doing, you know, three and four part harmony on this one, that would be great. Or you could just make barnyard animal noises. Anything goes, really. <laughs> The words are, in the pines, in the pines, where the sun never shines and we shiver when the cold winds blow. Ooh, 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 ooh. I was waiting for my chance to do that. <laughs> The longest train I ever saw Came down that Georgia line The engine passed at six o'clock And the cab passed by at nine In the pines, in the pines And we shiver when the cold winds blow Ah, that was wonderful, thank you I was doing this song at a festival in England one time and there was this lovely looking black Labrador retriever kind of <laughs> snoozing to one side of the stage. And I did this song and the dog sat up and he took notice. And I guess he took the call for audience participation to heart because he joined in with great enthusiasm and gusto on the chorus of this one. And the amazing thing was he was in the right key. <laughs> so here we go, let's try that again. In the pine. In the pines where the sun never shines And we shiver when the cold winds blow Ah, oh, that's the spirit, excellent, fantastic I asked the captain for the time of day He said he throwed his watch away It's a long steel rail and a short cross tire I'm on my way back home In the pines, in the pines And we shiver when the cold winds blow Ooh, 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 Little girl, little girl, where'd you stay last night? Not even your mother knows Well, I stayed in the pines Where the sun never shines And we shiver when the cold winds blow In the pines, in the pines Where the sun never shines And we shiver One 
once more with feeling in the pines, in the pines, where the sun never shines, and we shiver when the cold winds blow. Ooh. A million. Oh, that was just wonderful, especially that bit at the end. Gosh, I felt like I was in church. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> this is a, another song from the, from the new album. It's another one I wrote. It's kind of an old-fashioned love song, and it's called What Are We Gonna Do? This song got, um, it's been getting a, a bit of radio airplay, and I was, I was, I was really delighted when uh, one DJ wrote and told me that he had played it for, for his and his wife's 50th anniversary on air. I thought, oh, great. This could, yeah, it's so nice. This, this, this is like their song, and it's my song. It's so great. Because so, that's, you know, that's what you kind of want when you write songs. You want, uh, you want it to become somebody else's song, you know. I didn't know that kiss was coming. I guess I could have started running. Soon as I saw what you were thinking, it serves me right. I shouldn't have been drinking, but anyway, you did. So let's consider what are we gonna do about it. This little thing that like you and me have started tonight is not enough. I might just fall in love with you What are we gonna do? I wouldn't say that this was unexpected If you hadn't kissed me, I'd regret it Cause when you leaned my way I couldn't turn my face from you What? are we gonna do this could be the edge of something dangerous too but right now it's all new i don't know what way to play it in the light of day we might not make it i don't know it's real, I don't know how to deal with you What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do about it? This little thing that you and me have started Tonight is not enough I might just fall in love with you What are we gonna do? Thank you so much. Thank you. This next song was co-written by myself with a with a wonderful um, singer who I met when I moved to Cornwall. It's a pretty remote part of England, you know, so my, my kids go to this tiny little school. There's only between 20 and 30 kids and at any one time in the whole school, ranging in age from four on up to 11. So you get to know the other parents pretty well. It's kind of like one big family. And I got to know a woman called Zoe and got to be friends with her. And it was only after I'd known her for a while that I discovered she was a bona fide former pop star. She had a great big hit single back in 1991 with a song that she wrote and performed on Top of the Pops and all those TV shows. It was called Sunshine 
10 on a rainy day and it went to number five in the UK charts and stayed there for 16 weeks, was used in a Volkswagen commercial and was covered by lots of other artists, including one of the Spice Girls. And it has kept her nicely ever since. Just one song, one song. I keep writing them. I keep hoping, you know, and it doesn't have to be Volkswagen. It could be Velveeta cheese for all I care. I really, anything will do, anything at all. But um, she and I started writing songs together, and before we knew it, we had a whole album's worth of songs, um, which we recorded with the help of Martin there behind the sound desk, and he did such a beautiful job of recording and producing and engineering that album that I took him on the road with me, and I'm so glad I did. And the album got great reviews. It's called Crow Coyote Buffalo, and we recorded it under the band name Mama, and one reviewer described us as two pagan goddesses channeling the ghost of Jim Morrison. <laughs> Make of that what you will. <laughs> this song was inspired by a painting by the Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. It's called Aquí me pinte yo. Why do I need feet when I have wings to fly in my house of blue bluer than sky These broken bones teach me to be free I spend my days alone I am what I see And what I see I don't forget I see myself in burning colors red, yellow A leafy vine trails beside my hair I turn my eyes, the mirror meets my stare what I see, I don't forget I see myself in burning colors Red, yellow Oh, aquí me penteo Para que los quiero si tengo alas para volar. Espero alegre la salida y espero no volver jamás. so much. Thank you. Well, I'm going to do one more right now, and then I'm going to take a little break. This is the title track of the new album. It's another one that I wrote. It's called The Plum Tree and the Rose.
The yellow rose you planted has survived Battered by the wind, it's still alive The leaves are curled and brown, the flowers are few And every bud that opens makes me think of you Think of you The plum tree in the orchard's doing fine Our dams and brandies turning out all right It's cloudy and it's strong, but it'll do And every drop I swallow makes me think of you Think of you A little boy is running down the lane He's got your big gray eyes He's got your name His trouser legs are dripping wet with dew And every time I look at him I think of you Think of you Oh, the years pass ever faster And there are no ready answers To the questions we keep asking On the nature of our souls But this I know Yours is in the little boy the plum tree and the rose 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 Thank you very much. We'll take a short break and see you back shortly. Thank you.